what is up guys and welcome back to overkill gaming your home for high-end gaming whether it's pc ps5 or handheld we got you covered today we're going to be taking another look at gears 5 if you remember in my last video i mentioned that this game is technically unsupported on the steam deck and the main reason why is because of the anti-cheat and i mentioned in that video if you want to learn how to get this game to run i will make a video so here i am making a video showing you how to get gears 5 to run now this only applies to the single player campaign because of the anti-cheat you will not be able to play the multiplayer on the steam deck if you want to play the multiplayer you will have to install windows on the steam deck and we may make a video showing how to do that as well but anyway before we hop on in guys if you enjoyed today's video please be sure to leave a like and also subscribe to the channel we have a lot of great content on this channel for the steam deck and we also cover pc and ps5 as well all right so before we show exactly how to fix this issue i want to go over one thing first and that is the proton that you need to get the game to launch and that is ge proton 7-17 and if you're unfamiliar with how to go about installing protons on the steam deck i will leave a video down in the description showing you how to do that as well so i want to show you exactly what happens when you try to run this game and how the anti-cheat will prevent you from even being able to get into the main menu of the game so we have the correct proton install and it looks like it's going to load into the game and then it, we get to this point here and it just stalls right here it doesn't move past this point you can let it sit for minutes hours it will never move past this point it will just continue to try to load and it won't load and this is the easy anti-cheat that we're speaking about the same anti-cheat i believe I, i'm not sure if it's the same anti-cheat that's in apex but for whatever reason apex has an anti-cheat and it works fine on the steam deck but this game for whatever reason it doesn't work it i guess it requires you to have windows in order for it to work and if we go into the steam menu while it's trying to load you can actually see the easy anti-cheat trying to load and it's it's failing and it's just re-attempting over and over so we're going to exit out and here's how we fix this issue we're going to go to power, switch to desktop, and then we're going to go into desktop mode. Once you're in desktop mode, you're going to want to open steam. Okay. So we have steam open now and let's go ahead and make this a little bit bigger so we can see better. And once you have everything opened, you're basically just going to want to locate your gears five game in your library. And here it is right here. We'll go ahead and just click on that. All right. So now that we have it open, we're going to go to the right to the gear on the right here and go down to properties. And then once we're in properties, we'll go to local files and we're going to click on browse. And this is going to take us to where the game is stored on the SSD and You'll see this folder here, it says gear game, and we're just gonna click on gear game. This is where the anti-cheat folder is located. And we're gonna click on binaries and then steam. And then here it is right here, easy anti-cheat. Now, all you're gonna have to do is either rename this folder to anything you like, or you can just delete it altogether. But what we're gonna do now is just rename it. And it doesn't really matter what you rename it to just rename it to something else so that the game cannot find this folder so we just added three letters not not to the end of the anti-cheat easy anti-cheat folder and we can go ahead and close that close out of all of this and we'll go ahead and close out of steam and we're going to head back over to gaming mode okay so here we are back in gaming mode we're just gonna Go back to Gears 5 and we're going to attempt to launch it. And voila, we're in. Now, if this is your first time launching this game on the Steam Deck, uh, it, it will eventually ask you to create an Xbox account, which is easy. So just so you know that 
but it looks like the game is working fine we got past the anti-cheat but as you're about to see because the game cannot find the anti-cheat it's going to tell us that the multiplayer side of the game is going to be off limits and we're going to be limited to playing the single player campaign and as i mentioned earlier if any of you are interested in playing the multiplayer side of gears 5 on the steam deck the only way i know that you can do that is by installing windows all right so now we're just waiting for the game to load up here and we should see an error message pop up here just a moment and there it is online play may not be available and from what i've heard this method might also work with other games that have a single player and a multiplayer and it has an anti-cheat that's blocking you from getting into the the, the game because of the, the anti-cheat if you make the if you delete the anti-cheat or rename the folder it might still let you into the single player side of the game all right so here we are at the main menu we're just gonna choose campaign and i'm just gonna show you that it is working start game act one shot in the dark all right so we're just waiting for the game to load in here for us All right, and here we are. We're into the game. Working perfectly fine. So that's how you do it. Really, really easy. And you know, I'd be interested in knowing how many games are like this that we could actually get to work just by doing something simple like that and not having to go the full route of installing windows on the steam deck but yeah i hope you guys found that helpful and i hope you guys enjoyed it if you guys did please be sure to leave a like and also hit that subscribe button so that you don't miss out on future videos like this we plan to do a lot more tips and tricks type videos as well for the steam deck so definitely don't want to miss out on any of that all right guys that's it for me you got to get back to some gaming let us know down in the comment section what you thought of this video. If you have any questions, we'll, we'll go ahead and check that and get back to you guys as soon as we can. All right, we are out of here. We'll see you in the next one. Peace.